another thing, if we can be fair to each other, national ID card, if you can close this door now, including the military men, the honorable members, members of the press and staff of this National Assembly, if you ask them to bring out their national ID card, I don't think you can have more than 50% of people that can pass through this door. The truth of the matter is it has not been provided to all Nigerians. As I'm talking to you now, and I want you to, call, to talk to the theater in Borno, by 6 a.m., if you go to National ID Card Office in Maiduguri, you have more than 2,000 people, without fear of any contradiction, queuing up. Among them, you have Chadians, you have people from Niger Republic, you have people from Cameroon Republic, they are queuing up. And one of the requirements for you to get the national ID card is for you to just have access to indigenization letter from any of the local government, which is very porous. Everybody can go and obtain indigenous letter for, an, for a local government and acquire national ID card. Another thing, which is so pathetic, the content of the national ID card contains expiry debt. It has never been in the history of mankind where a national identification item is content expiry debt. So if at all my card now is expired, this shows I'm not holding one. So sir, I'm just trying for uh, just as a matter of emphasis what is happening. Let me let me just round up. And lastly with regards to the issue of uh, persons persons holding means of identification will be allowed by the military men whenever they are conducting maybe cordon and such. To me, I'm a barrack boy. My father is a retired military officer. I have never seen a situation whereby a military man is doing a job or police work, if I can put it, or paramilitary work. I've never seen it in my life. We went to Maiduguri for an oversight. One of the problems of Nigerian army is lack of uh, manpower. And now you want to overstretch the, 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 the limited number you have for this. So, sir, so this is it. The Nigerian uh, state is in a war situation. And whether I would like it or not, even though the constitution has not been suspended, we are doing everything in line with the constitution because the constitution empowers the Nigerian army to come in aid of other security agencies when the need arises and to conduct such other functions as may be approved by the National Assembly. And uh, I think that is what we are doing. And uh, many of these activities, you may not necessarily, they are not enumerated in the Constitution, so they are not even things you can say, oh, we say we are supposed to do this, this and that. But in the course of doing that particular major activity, we come up with other ideas and other activities that support that particular activity. I think we're in line. So I want to use the opportunity to uh, appreciate you and call on you and let you know that, look, this particular activity or this particular operation that the military is undertaking, because it's not affecting your area doesn't mean you should not be concerned. You must be concerned because it's affecting everybody. And uh, if it's a business for everybody, I think uh, it is what uh, the whole Nigerians should see as our project and support the military and the army particularly to ensure that we bring this uh, challenge to a halt. The next one is from, uh, if you don't hear any operation, taking your place because that means it's peaceful. Of course, I can tell you Crocodile Smile is actually designed for the south, south and southwest, but we are focusing on the southeast because, of course, there are no challenges. Or there are challenges everywhere, but it is not as, you know, pronounced as in the southwest as in other areas. Uh, then the last one, okay, not the last one. Uh, I want to commend the Honorable uh, Pella for this uh, particular uh, vote of confidence. Thank you so much. Uh, you actually said that uh, if the military is coming up with uh, new ideas and innovations in a bid to improve on the security situation within the country, we should be supported. And I want to call on uh, other distinguished members to uh, tow his line and, uh, of course, uh, speak to their constituents to uh, uh, understand what we are doing 
is not out of the ordinary, as I said. I've tried to explain as much as possible. They are not going to see any increased number of troops on the road, or you are not going to have additional checkpoints and roadblocks. You are not going to see any different uh, activity, which you are already seeing now. But it's just a noble idea in a bid to uh, arrest some of these criminals that may be relocating from one particular part of the country to other parts. So also uh, you cited the aspect of uh, awareness and sensitization that we need to do more. I agree with you that, uh, yes, of course, anything the army is doing or the military is doing, sometimes people read uh, a whole lot of meanings into it, and uh, we will take this back and uh, ensure that we create more awareness. Right now in Enugu, there is a